hi and uh, welcome to my new video so in this video i am going to be introducing you all to pspp now pspp is the software that i use in most of my videos for data analysis okay so pspp is free to download and uh, i will just show you the link from where you can download it so this is the site gnu.org and here if you uh, go to this download link over here you can download this particular software for windows as well as for mac uh, and uh, other operating systems as well so i'll be leaving a link of this in the description so you can go download it now let's go back to the software itself so once you download it and install it into your pc uh, you will see you can open the pspp software which has an icon like this this one and uh, you will basically see this view so this is the data view and then you have the variable view okay so this is like the basic uh, uh, the two basic views that you will get when you are using this particular software now in the variable view you need to type the variable that you are trying to enter so this is the data entry as well as analysis software yeah so uh, you need to enter the variable over here in the variable view so let's take the example of age right so we say age so in the name, uh, in the name column, we usually use a shorter form. So since age is already a three uh, letter word, so we'll just use age over here. And we also always use uh, small letters while using, uh, you know, the, while typing in the name. While in the la label column, we can actually use capital as letters and spaces and all of that. So we say age over here. So I've created this variable called age, as you can see. Let's go to the data view and see if we have created the variable yes so here you can see the ages here so this is the first respondent the case refers to the respondents okay the first or second respondent so let's say in your uh, uh, your uh, questionnaire or your interview schedule uh, the first respondents age is 15 right so type 15 and hit enter so as soon as you hit enter you move on to the next case okay so that's how it goes now uh, usually how you enter data is like we go questionnaire wise or interview schedule wise so let's say we have two questions in our interview schedule of course every interview schedule has multiple questions but uh, let's just assume that there are two questions one is the age the other is the gender so in the, we'll go back to the variable view and then we'll create a second variable which is gender right we type gen for short and in the label column we'll actually type gender right and uh, the thing that you need to remember here is that these are two different types of variables. One is the continuous variable, which is age, which is the numbers. And this is this categorical variable or, uh, you know, which is categorized into one or two or three categories. So uh, here we need to tell the computer uh, what one, two or three means. OK, so let's go to. So what I clicked over here, I'll just show you this again. Value labels. So here you see these three dots. You click on them and then you type the gender for example uh, we can code the gender according to our uh, i mean which there's no particular uh, hard and fast rule so i say one is female i type female over here i give the value as one and then i click add and two is male sorry yeah. two is male and then you have uh, three as uh, trans yeah transgender so so uh, these are the three uh, uh, where, I mean uh, the categories that we are giving and we click on OK so now I'm telling the computer one is female two is male and three is transgender so let's go back to the data view so in the data view you need to type uh, the gender of the first respondent let's say the first respondent was a female so we say one yeah so and then hit enter so that's how it goes so let's just quickly enter the uh, let's just do a you know hypothetical data entry uh, 23 this person is a male uh, this person is 24 this is a transgender let's assume and then uh, this person is 25 and this person is also a transgender and this person is um, 27 and he is uh, a male and so on and so forth right female you know so uh, that's how we, uh, you know, enter the data over here. So let's just finish till 10. All right. So she's a female. So this is how uh, you basically enter the data. You keep hitting enter and keep moving to the next cell. 
so we have 10 columns so that is 10 respondents uh, so similarly you can add different types of variables as well to this uh, uh, to this column and you have several options for analyzing the data as well you know you can find the average age and uh, you can do all, all kinds of statistical analysis over here i have made separate videos for each of those uh, there are also different ways which in which you can transform these variables i have uh, a video for that as well so this is just a short introduction on uh, how to basically use pspp it's a very uh, useful and simple software to use so uh, i leave the download links in the description so that's about it i hope you found this video useful and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.